Close your eyes and imagine that you're standing in the shade of trees. The air is moist and your surroundings are warm. Overhead, you can see the canopy of leaves that filters out the sunlight. Some rays of sunshine seep in through the leaves and fall on the heavy undergrowth. You can hear the singing of birds as they flutter around through the trees and vines. Exotic flowers and colorful fungi can be seen peeking in through dark green clusters of leaves. As you listen to the sounds of animals echoing through the trees, you breathe in the fresh air of the rainforest. Rainforests cover nearly 6% of the Earth's surface and are home to more than half of all plant and animal species in the world. These are highly diverse ecosystems which have existed for more than 70 million years. Rainforests are usually located in the tropical regions of the world. They have heavy rainfall that support plant growth. Rainforests also help to reduce global warming. This is because trees and other plants absorb carbon dioxide in the atmosphere during the process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process used by green plants to produce food using sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. During this process, plants also produce oxygen that we breathe. In fact, tropical rainforests produce nearly 40% of the oxygen available in the atmosphere. That's a lot. Rainforests are rich in biodiversity, which means they have different types of flowering plants, trees, birds, and butterflies. All these species rely on one another for their growth and survival. Some species of plants and animals found in these rainforests cannot be found anywhere else on Earth. Because of this, conservation of rainforests is very important. There are four major layers in the structure of a rainforest. These are the emergent layer, canopy layer, understory, and the forest floor. The emergent layer is the highest layer in the forest and it consists of tall trees that rise up to 200 feet. These trees emerge from the canopy layer to obtain the sunlight they need for photosynthesis. They don't have a lot of leaves on their trunks. They only branch out once they're out of the canopy layer because that's where they can find the most sunlight. Trees in the emergent layer can withstand strong winds and temperatures. Animals such as eagles, bats, and monkeys can be found on these tall trees. Many of these trees have light seeds that can be carried away by the wind. That's how the trees in the emergent layer achieve seed dispersal. Seed dispersal is the way that trees can pass around their seeds. The canopy layer is located beneath the emergent layer. The trees in the canopy layer are usually about 100 feet tall, but they can easily reach up to 150 feet. The canopy layer has a thick layer of leaves created by trees growing closely together. This layer of leaves can grow up to be 20 feet thick. The dense growth limits the amount of sunlight reaching the layers below it. That's the main reason why it's called the canopy layer. It acts as a canopy. Many different species of birds, butterflies, and insects can be found in the canopy layer. Because of the density of leaves, sound does not travel easily here. So the birds and other animals that live here often use high-pitched, shrill sounds for communication. Unlike in the emergent layer, the seeds of plants in the canopy layer are hidden within edible fruits. This is because plants in this layer rely on birds and animals to move their seeds around. Several feet below the canopy layer lies the understory. This is a dark and more humid layer compared to the others above it. Only about 5% of the total sunlight that falls on the canopy layer passes into the understory. The plants in this layer usually have wider leaves to capture the little amount of sunlight that makes it through the canopy. These include palms, philodendrons, and ferns. The understory layer also includes young trees that would rise up to the canopy one day. The dark environment in the understory is best for animals that rely on camouflage. Animals such as jaguars, lizards, snakes, frogs, and insects live in this layer. Similar to the canopy layer, many of the fruits here are edible. The fourth layer of the rainforest is the forest floor. This is the darkest among all the layers because the sunlight rarely reaches it. Fungi, worms, and termites, which we call decomposers, live here. 
Decomposers are the organisms that break down dead or decaying materials. Leaves that fall to the floor from the upper layers are quickly broken down by these life forms. Animals that can be found on the forest floor include rodents, wild pigs, anteaters, and beetles. Rainforests are self-contained ecosystems. This means that rainforests have everything they need for survival in the forest itself. Since rainforests are millions of years old, the amount of nutrients in the soil beneath the forest is very low. This is because trees and plants have absorbed them through time. So how can the rainforests continue to thrive if there are no nutrients in the soil? This is because rainforests have a very efficient nutrient recycling system. The leaves, plant material, and dead animals that fall to the forest floor are broken down by the fungi, bacteria, and other decomposers. Then the nutrients that were in the dead materials are absorbed by the soil. The trees and plants obtain these nutrients through their roots. This is how recycling works in the rainforest. So now let us look back and think about why rainforests are so important. Rainforests are important for the survival of all animals, including humans on Earth. They provide a major portion of the oxygen we breathe. They also absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and contribute to keep global warming under control. Rainforests also help to maintain the water cycle. Through a process called transpiration, Rainforests release water vapor to the atmosphere, which form clouds that travel all around the world. This helps to maintain the global climate as well. Without the water storage and recycling done by rainforests, we would have more droughts and heat waves. Also, rainforests contain different species of plants and animals that depend on it for survival. In some rainforests, such as the Amazon, the people who live there depend on the rainforests for their living. Rainforests also supply us with the ingredients that are used in nearly 20% of the medicines and cosmetic products we use. Nowadays, many rainforests in the world have been threatened by human activities. Development projects and an increase in global warming can destroy these valuable ecosystems. As humans, we should understand that we need rainforests for our survival. We have to take care of them because future generations need rainforests too. So take your time and learn more about them. You'll be fascinated about how beautiful, amazing, and valuable they are. Thanks for listening to this episode about rainforests, and be sure to tune in next Monday for a brand new episode.